Sometimes people lose teeth for various different reasons. It may be at the front, which doesn't look very nice with a smile, or it could be down the back where you, you're not so concerned about it. There are very di various different options that you have available to fixing up these gaps, and these are what we're going to explore and discuss with you today. One option is to do nothing. Or, secondly, you could do something which uh, is a removable type of thing, such as a partial denture, which may come in the form of an acrylic partial denture or a chrome partial denture. You can also have something which is fixed in your mouth and is like your own teeth. This could be in the form of a bridge or a dental implant. Doing nothing. Now, some people are quite happy with that, and particularly if it's a gap down the back area, they're not so concerned. But please make sure you discuss this with your dentist, as sometimes teeth can drift forward or, toot or tilt over, or you can have the sinuses growing down, and a host of other issues that may occur from doing nothing with a gap. One of the other options you have available to you is something which is removable. As I mentioned, it comes in the form of an acrylic denture, which is like this, or a metal denture. The advantages of the acrylic denture are that it is easier to repair and it's a lot cheaper. However, although you pay more for a metal denture, they are so much more comfortable in your mouth. You can see how thin this is compared to the other one. Being metal, they are a lot, lot stronger and less likely to break. They transmit hot and cold, and when you have foods, it feels more natural in your mouth. The denture tends to stay away from the teeth and gums, making it easy to maintain the teeth and the gums going forward in the future. Most people who have had both dentures seldom go back to the acrylic denture in the future. One of the forms you can do that it's fixed in the mouth and becomes just like your own teeth is to do a bridge. Here you can see the taking and shaving off the teeth either side of the gap. And then they're cementing a series of, in this case, of three crowns all joined together. This then becomes just like your own teeth. They do require, like your own teeth and gums, normal maintenance with brushing, flossing, etc. Another option that you can do, which is more conservative, and would certainly be discussed with you if the teeth either side are in very good shape, is to do an implant into these gaps. With an implant, they place a metal rod into the bone, the bone grows around that metal implant, and then on average, around about three months later, they will then place an abutment and a crown on top. The implants tend to last a long time and there is a very small percentage of them which will fail after doing the surgery, usually around about 2% on the lower jaw and about 4% on the upper jaw. Although if you're a smoker or diabetic or anything like that, these sort of things can decrease the success of the implant. So make sure you discuss with your dentist what your options are. I would always recommend that you get a second opinion for any surgical procedure, particularly with an implant or wisdom teeth removal or those type of things. There are other things that you can do with implants as well. For instance, you could put a bridge across, like we discussed before. It could be a single implant. It might be that you've got whole arches missing, which way, in which case they can make a dent to click onto the teeth. They can also make great big bridges replacing whole arches. These are things that would need to have further tests such as x-rays, etc. to see what the nerves and what the bone and sinus, etc. are doing. Make sure you discuss this with your dentist to see what options are going to be best in your case. Some questions about implants. Does it hurt? No, look, generally it can be done under a local anaesthetic. Should you go back to work straight after? 
look, I would recommend that you probably take a day or two off just to recover. Can you wear your plate straight after? Once again, discuss this with your dentist. Will you see any of the metal? No. The dentist will hide that for you. In the majority of the cases, you will never ever see that. Once the crown's in, you can literally start chewing on things straight away. How long do they last? It's not uncommon to get 15, 20 years at least out of them. So they're a very strong, long-lasting solution for you. Like anything in the mouth, they also need maintenance. I hope you've enjoyed everything that we have discussed today. And make sure you make an appointment as soon as possible if you've got questions about a gap in your mouth to, and discuss this with your dentist.